<laughs> what's up Capricorn so um when I was getting into your energy I heard the song by Christopher Williams don't wake me I'm dreaming girl don't wake me <laughs> said I'm dreaming about you so somebody Capricorn is dreaming about you having dreams being reminded of you in so many different ways because if a person is dreaming about you and their sleeping life imagine the waking life but um let's go ahead and get into this energy cap and see why this person is dreaming about you at this time beloved what's going on with capricorn and their person why is this person dreaming about capricorn Thank you. Alrighty. So we got you, Cap, the King of Coins. We got the Four of Cups. The Four of Coins. The Prince of Arrows. The Two of Arrows. And the Seven of Arrows. At the bottom of the deck, the Two of Coins. You know, with this Two of Coins, what I get Capricorn is like... You know how you have the good angel and the bad angel like on your shoulders? I feel like this is this person. Like the good angel is telling them you need this love, you want this love. You know, love Capricorn the way Capricorn deserves to be loved. This other one is like the ego. Oh, you're this, you're that. You don't need Capricorn. You can have all the girls, all the men in the world. Da -da 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 -da. So... I feel like that's what that two of pinnacle energy is about. But um, let's go ahead and clarify this energy and see what's going on with this person, Capricorn. They dreaming about you and whatnot. We got this four of coins here. They definitely are in some type of trance when it comes to you. Because they're holding on to that one pinnacle, the same pinnacle that you have here with the heart. But it's like those three pinnacles on the side is, I keep feeling like a big ego. Like, I got a big, or he got a big ego. I love his big ego. And this may be the problem. These cards right here. The six of wands and the three of cups. This person probably do get a lot of attention. They're probably attractive, sexy, whatever. So they probably do get a lot of attention. They probably could have other people. But... Their intuition, anytime you're dreaming of someone, that intuition has kicked in and it's telling them, like, you need to treat Capricorn accordingly. But let's see what's up. Beloved, can we please clarify these energies for Capricorn, please? Can we please clarify these energies for Capricorn? Alrighty. So the four coins. The High Priestess and the King of Swords. So this person is definitely deep in thought. You could be messing with a, um, a Sag. A Sag. Oh my goodness. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But um, deep in thought regarding you, Capricorn. I feel, I feel like with this High Priestess, like I was saying, their intuition is kicking in during the waking hours, during their sleeping hours. Like... It's an inkling, but the thing is, I don't know if this person is stubborn, if they, um, if they're letting their ego get the best of them because they're, they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it heavy. Ooh. So I'm getting that song. When I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall and in the back of my mind, I hear my conscious call telling me I need a girl who's as sweet as a dove for the first time in my life. I see I need love. There I was. But either way, <laughs> this person realized they need love. But it's like when they get alone, like th this is an ego fight person. This person got a big ass ego. I'm not sure why this person ego is like so big. But this is a person, I, I feel like this is a beautiful person or attractive person. Like this person can, maybe it's their swag, the way they talk, the way they walk. But this person can have anybody they really want to. But it's something about you, Cap. 
I mean, it could be the way you take care of yourself, the way, you know, you look, your personality, what you bring to the table. Something is different about you. Something is very different that attracts this person to you because this person is seeing that they need love. But let's see this Prince of Arrows. So this person was watching you in the past and... Like I said, when they get alone, sometimes I'm alone in my room and sometimes I stare at the wall and then the back. <laughs> this is them going into that mode of thinking about you trying to figure the situation out. But see, the burden is their ego. Like I keep picking up this person is very egotistical, like their ego is their drive. So I could be picking up on a masculine energy, but this person ego is like everything to them. I think they say a man's ego is their pride. And when you kill their ego, you kill their pride. So it's kind of that scenario. You also could be dealing with a Virgo. But I feel like this Prince of Arrows is here because the way this person thinks about you is almost like it's a telepathic communication. It's like... They could be watching you on social media doing all those things, but I feel like it's a deeper thing. Like, look how far this person had to go to get to where they are. Like, this person purposely gets alone to think about you, okay? Well, let's see. Why's the king of coins here? And so these cards come out again. The six of wands and the three of cups. So... You know, I feel like out of everybody in the world, it is you. Like, if, if you're not giving them that time, that energy, that affection, the conversation or whatever, they feel a little lost. Like, it don't matter. I keep feeling like this is a gorgeous-ass person. I'm not sure why this person's not showing up as the king of wands with the type of energy I'm picking up. I feel like this person is either, like, buff or very fit or athletic or something, but very, very attractive. And they're used to getting their way. They're used to people bowing down to them. They're used to having multiple people. But it's like, I don't think you bow to this person that bothers them like out of all people the person I love don't bow to me but I think that's what they love about you is you don't bow and and like I don't know make their ego bigger I guess but let's see the four of cups the three of wands and the knight of swords I when these cards came out I got missing you I'm not missing you at all. But this person is in denial in this four cups. <laughs> in this four cups energy, this person is in denial about missing you. Because there's two cups in front of them, two cups behind them. And I feel like the two cups behind them, that's your their past energy. And they thought they could get over it, so they were trying to put it in the past. But it keeps showing up on them. And that um, king energy, yeah, they don't feel like a king right now because she's holding her crown or whatever. So this person's like, I don't know. Like, it's almost like they waiting for you to do something and if you don't do something then they're gonna do something but once again it's, it's the ego thing their pride their ego like for them to reach out to you is like a big blow to the ego they usually are used to getting chased people running behind them people like pulling on them calling their phone blowing them up all that type of stuff <laughs> oh the the ace of cups and the Knight of Pentacles. See, so the longer, like, like Capricorn, I'm just going to be honest. As far as a little game, this is the type of person where you'll wait. If you wait it out, they'll have to drop that ego because this is going to overpower that ego. So, um, all those pinnacles and stuff they leaving behind, those could be people, those can be relationships, um, those could be like um, um, things that they put before you. You know how in a person's life you want to be like their first priority type ordeal? It could be like that. And then for some reason I'm drawn to this horse. 
this horse has on like royal attire so this person's gonna come in in a different energy than previously because it's like i don't know the more you sleep on them the more you don't give them attention the more that you're drawing this person back to you you know but um let's see what else the seven of arrows <laughs> Oh, I get it. So this seven of arrows card, this woman's up, the person's asleep, you know, and they, they taking off, they leaving that person. So I feel like this is this person thinking they gonna do the same thing that they did before to you. There's that black horse. And now that horse doesn't have on that royal attire that I was, I was speaking a reference to. So you know what I feel like? And I don't know if this is what you're planning or what, Capricorn. But I feel like you're going to give this person a taste of their own damn medicine. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see. Let's see what messages this person has for you. What messages does this person have for Capricorn, please? What messages does this person have for Capricorn? Oh, wow. Oh, yep. Ego. And let me get one more. So your person does have a huge ego the way I'm looking um at these cards and whatnot. Let's start. Let me see here. Um So, um, the ego kicks in for this person. So the first message I have is, yeah, yeah, I know you were just looking for us used to text me. What you doing? So this person is used to like people being like making the first move. Like they use this ego is this ego is huge for this person. Why does this person have such a big ass ego? Like who do they think they are? Oh my goodness. And then can I live? So this person, when they talk, they talk cocky, condescending, make, like make people feel smaller than them. And then I don't remember giving you permission to talk to me. Like this is, I feel like this is how they used to like talk, very arrogant. Like if they didn't say these exact words or these exact messages, this is this person vibe. Like they're used to like telling people this type of stuff. Okay. That's a little triggering for me. Don't ask why. So this is a person that's all about them usually. Like they don't care about the next person feeling. It is all about them. Oh my goodness. Dude, you're 31. Please start acting like it. So you could be 31. This person could be 31. But you know, like they throw up like things that make you feel small like imagine a person being like you know you're 31 start acting like it. it's like what I'm, I'm i'm grown i'm acting grown i'm just talking to you or whatever but oh my god this this is why i love you you see what i'm saying but, but this is like they're hidden hidden emotions and stuff like that let's let's see the possible zodiac signs you're dealing with capricorn this person off the chain with a big ass ego What's the possible zodiac signs Capricorn dealing with? May I get five cards, please? Five cards. Oh, more than five. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces. You like some water, huh, Cap? A Libra. An Aquarius, a Sagittarius, and this can definitely be this Aries energy that's coming through, that Emperor's energy. Okay, so let's get you a Zoltar Speaks message and close out the reading. Beloved, what's the message for Capricorn, please? What does Capricorn need to know about this person? Oh, I'm sorry. What does Capricorn need to know? What's their fortune? And I'm not going to um, interpret the fortune for you. I'm really going to leave that to your interpretation. So let's see what's up. What's, what's the interpretation for Capricorn, please? 
I'm sorry. Here I am. Like, does this person leave you confused? Because why in the end am I confused? Were you left confused or something, Capricorn? <laughs> Can I get one message for Cap, please? One message. You done me wrong. I thought you were true. And I'm so through with you. I wanted you to be there. Right? So when we were together, we never turned our backs on each other. But now that we're separated, we can't stand one another. You can't stand this person. <laughs> Let me get one message for Cap. <laughs> one message, please. One message for Capricorn. Cap, you keep getting multiple. May I get one message for Capricorn? I'm going to have to end up just pulling you one. One message for Cap. There we go. Ooh. So, do you like to lay in bed just to rest your sleepy head? That's okay for a day or two, but as a habit, it'll never do. If you don't want to make too many regrets in life, get up early, get there first, and success will come to you instead of the next fellow. You have very pleasant disposition and know how to make the most of it. Life for you hasn't been too easy, but I foresee a turn of events that will give you a great deal of happiness. When opportunity comes, grab it and don't let it slip through your fingers. Okay, Cap. So that's the reading I have for you, beloved. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave me some comments. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.